Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play City Skylines 2. Today, I want to focus on education. We have a big education problem in the city. We are um, overflowing in our uh, elementary schools and our college and our university. So we really need to address that. So let's go ahead and jump in after we see this beautiful view of the skyline coming in from the cruise. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to come in. And like I said, we have a major education issue. We'll go ahead and take a look at this. And we have elementary schools are completely overcrowded. High school, we're actually fine. College, we are way overcrowded and university as well. But before we get into some of that, what I want to do is I want to fit some of our districts. So ever since we expanded, some of them are a bit uh, not updated. So first of all, let's go over to Franklin. And I did have a, a suggestion to change this to brown water. And so just as a joke, because we've got bright water end over here, and then we've got brown water end because we used to have our sewage outflow here. And I think what I want to do then is I want to adjust our district size there. So we're going to come in and we want to drag to move node, bring this out this way, get a new node in here. And then this node can come all the way over to there. And actually, yeah, brown water end. I want that to go all the way around the port. The port is only going to be on the island. So we want brown water end to go pretty much this whole area. And we will probably get a new district for over in anywhere else. But I really want this area to kind of be considered part of that brown water end. And we'll come down to this road and then over this way. And now over here, we've got Beach Park is that square. I think we'll get a new district in here. So Brownwater End, probably come down this way like that. Yeah, I like that. So Brownwater End is pretty much that space. I like that. Beach Park is there. We need a new district in here because Hemlock College ends there. So let's go ahead and create a new district. Go ahead and just click to create a new one and come down here. We don't want to overlap. We're just going to try to join those nodes. And I think we can come all the way down to here and then back this way. And I think what we'll do, I think we have City Hall over here. Yeah, that's City Hall there, right there. So we'll call this um, government center or something. And that can come back this way. Yeah. Move this node to there. There we go. So now this, just double check that City Hall, yep. Okay, government centers. So we'll probably get offices and other things in there eventually. And then we need a district down here. And I am actually going to bring this down like this. So this whole hill is going to be part of this district. And then we'll come down here. And that I think is all part of Hemlock College. Elk Grove. Actually, that is a good name for that, I think. We'll keep that as Elk Grove. And then we'll need a district over here. Let's see, that is covered. Birdsong Crest. We'll go ahead and get the corner in here. And maybe we'll call this Birdsong Medical College. I think that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to have this be Birdsong. Going to get rid of the crest. And then we will call this. The Birdsong Medical University. So then that should have our districts filled over there. Very good. And then we could get another one in on the hill here. 
Sycamore Junction. We'll just change that to Sycamore Grove. To kind of mirror, we've got Elk Grove here and Sycamore Grove there. Maybe we'll call this Elm Grove. Yeah, so they're like tree names. And then we need to get one along here. And this is going to be a pretty major one that will, I think, eventually go all the way along this shoreline. We just have to make sure we don't get it inside or outside the map, I mean. There we go. That'll go like that for now. When adding districts, you just have to be a little bit careful. Actually, I think we'll... I don't know. Should I have that be in the college? Or should I be... It, it'll be in the beach. Or whatever this is. I don't know if we're going to call it beach, but... Uh, let me know in the comments. What do you think this district should be called? The one along the shores. Here we go. We've got Myrtle Downs right now. But let me know what you think Myrtle Downs should be called. But now that we've got the strips covering everything, what I want to do is I want to get an elementary school in any residential district. So right now, we are sitting on a single elementary school right here. And this one, what district are we in? We're in downtown. So we're going to come in and we're going to tell it to only work for downtown. Then we need another school for Brightwater End. And this is all going to really increase the budget that we're spending. But it will also increase the well-being of a lot of the people nearby. So we're going to get this in here. This one will be for Brightwater End. And we'll go ahead and we'll get an extension wing. Uh, actually, we might not need it. We'll get a playground over on this side, though. And maybe medical clinic as well so this will improve the health of the students here we'll watch the number of people that are attending there we've got a lot of students in downtown apparently so we have to make sure that we can we might need another elementary school covering that but let's go ahead now and get beach park which is pretty small actually in comparison. So I think what we'll do is we'll get a height or a, an elementary school, take this road out, and we'll get the elementary school right here. It is overlapping something. We have a signature building there, so that is going to be a problem. We're going to go ahead and put this road back in. This one is not going to fit here where the Elementary school just can't go on this block because we've got that signature building right there. So instead, we'll put it on this block. And that should work. Yep, yeah, we can come in here and build that right in there on pause. And we're going to have this be Beach Park, which I don't think there's enough people that we're going to have to have that be exclusive. We have 3,500 people in there. Brightwater, yeah, I think what we'll do because in downtown, we have oh, 5,500. That actually isn't too bad. So this should get better. But let's go ahead, I guess for now, set it to uh, Beach Park only. Okay, there. We're set to Beach Park. And we'll give them a playground in here, of course. Right on the corner. That's a great spot. But they won't get the medical clinic. There isn't really the space for that, but if we need to expand it, we can. And if this one proves to not be enough for downtown, then we can have these two also serve downtown. They're not that far away. Now over here, we've got Birdsong, which most of the residential is over here. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that right here. And it will look pretty good. They'll be kind of mirror to the other one. Get this uh, playground in on that side. And then the other thing we want to do is we want to fill in the zoning just a little bit on the other side of the schools so we can get a little bit more building in there. And that'll be good. And then I also, I think over in here, while we're at it, I want to add more trees to make this look a little bit better. So I'm going to do a line of oak trees along the outside here. 
Okay, now we've got the line of trees. I'm going to get a sidewalk. It goes from here to here as well. And then we'll get it across. We'll get a little crosswalk there. Just to make all of this a little bit better. They got mad about the zoning. That changed the zoning? Okay, we're going to get rid of that. And no, it's still... That messed up all the zoning, apparently. Interesting. That's all office zoning. Well. All right. I guess we're going to have bigger offices on that side. But anyway, that will get that to look a little bit better in there. So now we have Birdstone covered. We need one in Hemlock College. So we'll go ahead and put that by the high school. We'll get the school, the elementary, over here. I'm going to put it over on the corner. And then I want the playground. Uh, it doesn't fit over there. Okay, we'll put it right here then. And this one is going to do Hemlock College. And then we need one Elm Grove. We need three more of these, which hopefully we're not uh, like blowing through our budget. But overall, I, get, I think what we'll do is we'll actually get one down here to cover this area, and then we'll kind of get one over there to cover the other area. Because Elm Grove only has 300 people. They don't need their own elementary. Plus, these are pretty big buildings. We'll get that there. And this is going to be these two districts. And actually, we'll just go ahead and get... Oh, Sycamore will be as part of this one. There. So those are all covered because there isn't a lot in this town or this district either. So we'll go ahead and get a playground in here. And that should work there. Okay, so now elementary should be fixed. We have the capacity in elementary now. Let's go ahead and double check down here what we're looking at. That one still has too much. So we're going to come in here and we'll add downtown to this one. And Beach Park can add downtown as well. So now that should relieve some of the pressure on that one there. And that'll be good. We could go in and I could name all of these too. Yeah. Okay, so I've gone in and I've named all of the uh, elementary schools after their districts, except for this one, which is Central Elementary, and then you've got Birdsong Elementary. Just change the name for Hemlock High. This one over here is Elm Grove, because I figured this one we don't have a name for yet, and I don't want to forget to change it, so I just went with that. Now, the next thing we want to check is other types of education. That will help elementary we need to fix college and university. So we've got Hemlock College here, and it actually, it doesn't have too much. We can't expand it anymore though. That is pretty much as big as Hemlock College is gonna get. We're gonna go ahead and add the name here. And then the university also technically has more space. We already have expansion buildings in here, although I think we can get a little bit more. The practice clinic we built, actually, yeah, we, we already built that too. So we're not going to do more of that. I think what we'll do is we'll get another college in. We have one there. We could, I mean, we haven't unlocked any other colleges yet. So what we were any other types of university? I don't oh no, we did. We have the regular university. Yeah, and then we have the medical built already. So we could get a regular university in somewhere. We have the medical one there. Let's get the regular university. You know what? Let's do that as part of his forest. Yeah, and then we can have yeah, that, that gives reason for the forest. Okay, so a university is coming in and buying all of this land. So we need to move. We have one, 
two, three more forestry areas to move. Let's go ahead over here and we'll build three more. So we're going to come here to specialized, get a forestry thing in here. We want to make sure that we have space to go all the way to the end of that. And we'll go ahead and get this built. Okay, so we've got three built over here now. They're complaining about a lack of high school labor. So we might at some point soon need to build a little town or something over that way. But over here now we can take these out, bulldoze that one and that one and this one. So now we have space for our university. So we want to come into university and this is a nice big building. I think we'll put that over here. Yeah. And then we're going to upgrade this road because of course they wouldn't be on a dirt road. It would pave that and make it a bit nicer. Yeah, and then we already have a bit of parking there, but also let's go ahead and we want to expand it. Get a university park. I wish we could go across there, but we can't. So we'll get that over here. That increases the graduation chance, or no, uh, increases the health. The extension wing, actually, let's go ahead and get that in there. We're going to make this as big as we need to. And we'll get the library over here. So hopefully that all looks good. Yeah, the library is not quite lined up the way that I wish that it would be, but it is good enough. And then we'll get a little bit more parking over here, I think. So we should be relatively flat. Yeah, we're flat here. Also, this is a pretty big road. Let's go ahead and make it larger. I think that's the Sipsilane Divided Road. We're going to bring this down to there. And then I want an asymmetric five lane road here. Although it doesn't quite fit the way I want it. I do want one turn lane there. I think that will work. Yeah, we'll just keep it the way it is there. So then over in here, we're going to get a road coming off of this. Bring that right here. And if we can, there we go. And then we can get a big parking lot in here. Doesn't quite fit the way we want it. We'll get a smaller one then. There, so that should have a lot of parking. It's a nice, beautiful university out there. I need a name for it. Let me know in the comments below what you think it should be called. And then we can get some more stuff around there. But that should improve university capacity is a bit better. We have a lot eligible that they're not really choosing to go, but at some point they might do that. And college, we want to get another college in, I guess, too. That one's a good size. I guess we'll wait on the college. We'll leave that open. So that is element where that's all of our education. Okay, so now that education is kind of sorted out, we have unemployment that is uh, going down. So what I want to do, or it, it's a little bit lower, I think now that we know that we've got a university here, I want to get some people in here and we're going to get some medium density housing. So what I want then is we're going to come to the road and we're just going to get some roads up here. We do have a hill here, so we have to be careful about that. We'll bring this road this way and I want it to be curving. So we'll bring it along here and then we'll curve this way. And it will just kind of follow that whole contour line over to here. And then we'll get a simple curve. No, actually, this is going to curve up this way. Like that. And then this road can come straight here. Like that. And then this one will curve over here. So it goes up the hill a little bit, and then this can come along here. 
and a jelly curve like that just to fill that in just a little bit better. Yeah, I like that. I want to see what the terrain looks like over here. That will work fine. That adjusted pretty well for that park there. And then what I want then is to fill in the rest of this. So we'll bring this along and then uh, go from there. And I think we'll bring a road down on this side too. Which is going to increase a little bit of traffic. We're like there, this will kind of be a collector in here a little bit, I guess, because it leads to that arterial and then really just gets more uh, traffic through this area. Yeah, that should work. So now we've got a big space that we can come in here. Let's double check. We should not have any. Oh, we've got some air pollution there. That's going to be a problem. That's not ideal. What can we do about that? Brown water. Do we have any things here? Combustion energy? Uh, nope, nope. Nope, there's nothing that we can do there that will improve the air pollution. So that is something we have to be aware of. That's a problem. Yeah, I forgot about the air pollution that came this way. I know I mentioned it last episode, now that I'm thinking about it. We could get the residential over here. But I feel like we could get some in here. Let's see what happens. If we come in and we kind of put some row houses here, they're probably going to complain about that air pollution. But I think what we'll do is we'll also put a medical clinic in here right away. Put that right on the corner. And we will expand it right away. Extension wing. And an extra ambulance depot. Yeah. So that should help with that. We'll see what happens with those row houses in here. I mean, I'm just going to fill in the whole thing and we'll go from there and see what happens. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes and adjust as we need to. That's kind of how cities work, right? You, you build stuff and then you, you change it around if you need to. Oh, look at that. We got a new signature building and this is beautiful. Let's go ahead and place that. This one, CO10 condos. We're going to put that right over here. That well-being might help some of the pollution complaints. Yeah, look at them. They are going to complain, but it also might let us see how much we can press that. We'll see how far away they complain and maybe we just change this maybe this becomes the like the bar area the bar scene and in fact that might make a lot of sense if we come in here and get this we have style uh, restaurants motels bars beautiful yeah we'll just go ahead and do this anywhere that they are complaining about that pollution we'll get some bars in there instead but the rest of this, we could get more row housing over here because they're not complaining over here. Yeah, and then once we have a name for the university, I will build a new district in here that will be a... Uh, and we'll, we'll let's see what district things we can do that will make it kind of improved for bars and stuff like that. In general, I think that'll be really great there. Unemployment is still 8.1%. So we'll we'll let this fill in and see where we're at. Look at that. We reached big cities. So that is really great. We unlocked 18 more map tiles, 11 development points, and we got a $2.8 million uh, grant, which, you know, we've, we're sitting on like, what have we got? 46 million in the bank. So that's not a huge deal. But at big city, we just increased the loan limit. That's it. Large city, I think... Yeah, pretty much all we get now at any of those milestones is more map tiles, which is good because we do need to expand more and, and stuff like that. But really what I'm looking at right now 
is I'm making a note that it's really a dark yellow on the air pollution map that the people want to avoid, especially with the, the mid density. So I think this will work out well here, especially like I'm really encouraged by that finding because that means that we can come around and probably get more housing over here, which is good because I think what I want to do is expand the industry out this way and that will give us more people working in here or like more people available to work over in the industry. So all of this is really good. Over here, we've got some businesses. They must have gotten not very good in terms of their uh, profit or something. But in general, I mean, we want to get that unemployment rate up higher. So now we are able to continue to expand. This is really good. And now also we're getting more jobs over here too. Convenience food, furniture, got a gas station over there. Plastics, not anything exciting, but another little spot for students to shop and things. I think that we will continue to expand this in the next episode. So be sure to click on the video on the screen now. It will take you to one that I am sure you will enjoy. I guarantee it. But thanks for watching today, and I will catch you next time. Take care.